All right, welcome back to Matchroom Radio with David Diamante. That is me. I am your host today. And I'll tell you, we have a really special guest, uh, one of the greatest fighters of our generation, a three-division world champion, two-time Olympic gold medalist, Vasily Lomachenko. Great to see you, my friend. Good to see you, too. Yeah. Good, how, hello. How are you feeling? I feel great. Thank you. When did you get in? Uh, I came two days ago. Two days ago. Did you come from Oxnard or you came from Ukraine? No, I came from Ukraine. Okay. You've been living out in Oxnard, yeah? Yeah, I, I come to United States only for preparation. Yeah. Only for two months. And after after the fight, I come back to Ukraine, uh, come back to my family and stay in Ukraine. Speaking of family, how do you like being a father? Uh, he's good, he's great, and always, he's always... Ah, I you don't know me as a my father. I think you, you asked me about my father. Okay, uh, it's uh, it's very hard because you know you you need to be a good example for kids and you need to learn kids a good um, think good. Хорошим uh, действием. To teach good to, things to, to do. To, yeah, to de- uh, to teach a good uh, to good things to do and uh, it's always too hard but i think you are a very good man i try i try to be a good man i always i always teach choose learn yeah i i always i always learn uh to be a good man and uh, i wanted to i wanted to uh show a good example for all kids did you get this from your father, Papachenko? Yes, 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 yes. My father always, uh, during my life, he showed me a good example, very good example. Your father, I don't know if many people know, many people do, many people don't, but he's top trainer. And he, when you were born, he's boxing trainer. Yeah, sure. He, uh, before, then I stayed training boxing. He trained a lot of guys before, uh, then, then I start training. He trained a lot of top boxers uh, from our hometown, and um, he had before he had a, a good boxing experience. Before then, I start boxing. Did your father? Did he fight? Uh, yeah, he he did fight, but uh, not professional. It was amateur. Then he was in a. Uh, Institute как будет, так и будет. Then he was in university. After university, he stopped uh, boxing career and start uh, training. Training, training career, yeah. And your mother is in gymnastics. My mother also was athlete. She was a uh, acrobat, and uh, we have a sport family. Yeah, it's a sport my, my family. Sis, my my sister is an yeah. acrobat. My wife was a acrobat too. She uh, trained with my sister in a pair. So now my kids athletes too. Yes. So it's it's athletes dynasty, Lomachenko. Absolutely, and your father, he had the vision. I guess he always wanted you to be a fighter. But before he wants you to fight, he wants you to dance, to learn how to dance, yes? Yeah, yeah. I was uh, dancing, but, you know, I never liked it. And uh, he said, hey, if you want to be a great boxer, you need to learn dancing. That's why I danced in uh, two or three years, but it was a national dancing. Traditional. For me, yeah, traditional. For me, it was not ent- interesting, but I must, I must, I had to do it. Yeah, you, had to do it. Yeah, you had I, to I do had, it. I had to do it. Uh, but we can't, we can't come on a river two times in a life. And I can't compare if I didn't do this. What do you mean you cannot come on the river two times? I can't, I, you know, I mean, if I didn't train dancing and start boxing without dancing, we can't, we can't compare this. 
that's why I can uh, that's why I can answer uh, is it help me or not yeah but of course you think it has maybe but no I trained just three three years then I was a kid but after that I stopped and now then I start then I stay a um, uh, professional athlete I never I never use dancing I do a lot of another exercise I do a lot, uh, a lot of uh, another moves on the feet maybe this is help me mm. maybe that's why that's why I have a memory I don't know if you remember this probably not when Usyk fought Gassiev in Moscow for the undisputed championship you were there yep you were in the ring I was there I was in the ring And in my ear, the producer, the director is telling me, get to the center, do this, do this. And you were there. And I, you know, I'm quite tall. Uh, and I, you were there and I had to get by. So I go to move you. You don't move. <laughs> you don't move. Your balance was incredible. Uh, maybe, you know. I <laughs> You're very solid. I, train, I, train, I was training wrestling a little bit. Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I, I'm, I push every big guys pushing out of the way. I get to you. Don't move. Not an inch. <laughs> maybe it's good for me. I always, I will, I always uh, try stay in the middle and stay focused. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's why. But you know what? I, uh, it was a good... A moment, then you inside, then you in the ring, and you waiting for a result. Yeah. And you thinking only about this result. Of course. And you focus on the result, and you don't think about another, another moves, another uh, thing. And maybe that's why you can't move me. Right. I, I don't know. <laughs> Do you, when you're obviously you're here this week because of Alexander Usyk, very you guys are very close. Friends. Yep. And you were there in, Mos in Moscow to support Alexander also. Do you enjoy, obviously, people know you as a pound-for-pound -pound great boxer yourself. But do you enjoy going to watch, let's say, Alexander? Do you like to watch boxing outside of yourself? Of course. Of course, I like it. And uh, I love boxing. This is, for me, it's a sport. And uh, I always, like, see boxing from my friend and because Alexander show very very uh, good skill he show very high level boxing that's why it's always interesting and uh, always interesting see boxing inside close to close to the uh, ring mm -hmm. it's always uh, interesting because then you see in a, a, a TV you can't see Uh, small details. I agree. Yeah, that's why I like it. It's a big difference, right? When yeah, you're right there. Yeah, very big difference. You see many things. The TV camera only shows you what they're showing you. Yep. But here you have 360 degree. You can smell, you can see, you can feel. It's very different. Yeah, very, very different. So you as a fighter, you like to fight. You enjoy this. I enjoy it. Yep. What do you like about it? Uh, you know... I like this moment. Then you train very hard, and after the fight, then you win. I like two hours after the win because this moment, you two hours, you you feeling like you can fly, and uh, it's very very emotional moment. You train hard, couple months, you didn't see your family, you didn't see your friends. And after that, you, you, in your mind, you're thinking you need to come back with a win. And uh, I can't I can explain uh, all my thinking in the head, but it's it's very uh, pleasure. pleasure yes. It's, it's very pleasure moment. I think you explained it very well. And for the people listening out there... Uh, Vasily is not obviously English, not your first yeah. language. So thank you so Sorry. much. And, and we're going slow and you're doing great. This is thank great. You. Thank you. So <clears throat> this fight this weekend is a big fight. How do you see this fight? You know, for me, it's a very historical moment for Ukrainian boxing. It's a historical moment for all, all fans around the world. 
And uh, honestly, for me, it's 50-50 because they uh, understand what they need to do in the ring. They are both had a big amateur experience. They are both technical fighters. Uh, I don't know, 50-50. It's a very close fight. Very, very close. I love this fight. You know, but uh, Joshua has a power. Joshua has a experience and reach. Alexander has a speed. He's, uh, he has a, his uh, reaction coordination and uh, also amateur experience. You know, styles make fight. We'll see. One more day. You talk about power, and people gave you the name Nomaschenko yep. because you were stopping everybody. They were, they were quitting. They were quitting. This is at featherweight. Then you go to 130. Then you go to 135. Did you find it hard when you moved up in weight, the power? Did you feel like at 126 you're really hurting guys, where at 135 maybe not so much, or you still... How did that? How is that as a fighter? Uh, absolutely, it's big different. Of course, it's big different. And uh, one one thirty five, it's a good weight classes for me. Of course, it's more powerful weight. Uh, but we have a lot of big names. We have a lot of top fighters in these weight classes. And uh, if some mm, People can organize uh, Super Syria with these weight classes, 130, 135. It will be, I think it will be a very historical moment. This is a dream for me. Because obviously, listen, 396 amateur wins, only one loss, which you avenged. Obviously, everybody knows about the Tiafimo Lopez fight. We're going to have to talk about this. But I know more than anything, I mean, I can't speak for you. You must speak. You are here. But yes, more than anything, you want to avenge this loss with Tiafimo. Yes? No, for me, you know, I explain my situation and I understand boxing. And people who understand boxing thought this fight, it was a draw. It was a, a very close fight. But if you're talking about professional boxing, okay, six rounds, I didn't win. But another how fight I win all rounds and all last three rounds it was championship rounds I didn't lose these rounds that's why in my eyes in my in eyes from people who understand boxing it was a draw tell me about the first six rounds why did it start slow for you I I had a problem before the fight uh, with my shoulder. In the second round, I feel I feel in a pain, and that's why I can't rush. And uh, I always then I try to do some uh, punch with right hand. It was a pain, and I try to сохранить. Save. I I I I I was trying to save for the later health. part yeah, of the fight. Uh, save my health. Save my body. I I don't want to do a risk uh, on the first six rounds. But after five, I think after five five or six rounds, I come to my corner and father said to me, "Hey, we can't win this fight if you didn't start to do something." And of course, it was the last last six rounds, and uh, I was a uh, will. I had I had uh, to do something. Yes. And and I start I start to do. I know that you've had surgery on the shoulder since. Our next day. Yes. Successful. Obviously, you came back and you dismantled Nakatani. You stopped him. Obviously, Tiafimo went the distance with him. Now you are fighting Richard Comey, which obviously Tiafimo fought him. So it seems like you're on the path for a rematch with Tiafimo. I want a rematch, but uh, we never know what happened 
was uh, in in the head to Fima Lopez and his father because today he said yes, tomorrow he said no, after tomorrow he said again yes, and we don't understand now where are yet, and we waiting for uh, his uh, fight with the Cambosos in October, and of course I waiting for my next fight, and after we will discuss after we understanding how we can organize this like you said the landscape of 135 very good fighters you know Devin Haney Ryan Garcia Gervonta Davis do any of those other names excite you are you interested maybe to meet with these other fighters da, da. Oh, uh, now I want only one name. It's Teofima. It's only one name. Two, two-time Olympic gold medalist, three-division world champion. Many, many people had you for a long time, pound for pound, number one in the world. And many people still do have you, pound for pound, number one in the world. Not everybody, but a lot of people. What do you, Vasily, want in the career? I know you want the rematch. With you want to avenge this loss, I understand this. But let's say you have this fight, okay. What in the future? What is more goal for you? No, my my goal it's uh, to improve my skill. My goal to show a best style, my best style in the boxing, and of course my goal it's for belts. It's if we're talking about now. But in the future, of course, put my name in the history. Put your name in the history books. Yep. And how do you see a rematch going with Tiafimo Lopez? Will it be a different fight? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because, because I'm very motivated. And uh, I, w- I just wanted to improve myself. What I can to do in the boxing now. You talk about this incredible moment after a fight. And uh, I know a lot of fighters, they talk about coming up to the fight, the training is very difficult. Like you said, you don't see the family, the eating, you can't eat this, training, blah, blah, blah. Then the fight happens and this great feeling. And the first thing you want to do is do it again, you know. What do you do after this to, I know you train very, very hard. But what does Vasily Lomachenko do to relax when you just want to unwind and relax? How do you clear your head? I love fishing. After that, I, I stay in one week with my kids, with my family. But after that, I go on a fishing. I love fishing. So on a boat? Yep. On the river? Yep. Fl- yep. Do you do fly fishing? Only No, I never try um, because we don't have a... Uh, place for uh, for this uh, fishing uh, but i love river i love lake and of course i like nature sure and um i understand you you like electronic music edm i like electronic music i love deep house it's it's very good music for train for me does it gets you going Speaking of when you train, you train uh, with Alexander. You guys train together a lot. Uh, sometimes, yeah, sometimes we train together. Yep. And um, I know you know this, but he has the personality is very funny, always uh, yeah. fun, making a joke. Does this? It makes you more motivated. Is more fun to train? No, it's for me. It's more um, fun for me. It's more interesting because in my camp, I always focus it. I in my camp always quiet that you not quiet always quiet and it looks like a uh, uh, machine work machine mm-hmm. that's it in his uh, camp it's always lo- looks like uh, I don't know how to explain <laughs> it's always fun yes he always smile he always dancing right it's it's, so it's how another, did, it's another different. It's, it's another different. different. Yeah. So it's kind of fun to when he's there because it, it's a different dynamic. Yep. Yeah. And you know, obviously, you're very close with your family. 
and you train with your father. How is that to be so close all the time with your father? You know, now for me, uh, it's very good. Before, then I was uh, smaller. Before, of course, I, I think, and oh, I always see this guy <laughs> at home in a, in, a, in a gym. Uh, but now uh, I understand that time is very fast. It in really our, is. In our life. That's why I, I love every day that I provide it. Uh, I love every day that I spend with my father. And uh, I like it. And I, I enjoy it. I love that. What, what were you like as a kid? Were you a good kid or you get in some trouble? Sometimes it was good, sometimes not good. <laughs> <laughs> like like a, like a boys. Yeah. You have a lot of friends from uh, childhood? Yes. And you're I still have, friends? Yes. Yes. I have my best friend. He lives uh, через the road. He, he lives across the street, and now he's still my uh, best friend. We grew up together, and uh, now we have a... Uh, business together. Yes, this is very exciting. The hotel, yes? Yes. So tell us about the hotel. I, I know this is an incredible thing that you, you started. Yeah, we built a hotel. It's a Kiev. Low mountain. No, it's not a Kiev. Where is it's it? It's close to Odessa. It's, ah, okay. it's a beach on the Black Sea. Beautiful. Yeah, but we work only three, three or four months uh -huh. because weather um, is not good always during one year. Uh, uh, during a year, we, wo we work only a summer. Summer. So maybe one day you can come. I would love to. I would love to. I'd be honored. You grew up on a small town, yes, by yeah. the sea? Yeah. So what's it like now? You're this global star. Everybody knows Lomachenko. We rode a bus together just yesterday, and we get off the bus, and the people, oh, Lomachenko, they love you. Everybody love you. Is this, and you have fought at the biggest venues in the world, Madison Square Garden, and here in London, all over the, the world. For a, a boy from a small town to be this superstar, do you feel this is a dream, or is this, uh, how does this feel for you? I, I never thinking about this. I just want to stay like a boy who grow up, who поставил цель. Stay. Yeah, I wanna. I I just wanted to stay a boy who put my goal in the life in the boxing and take this goal and take my dream, and that's it. That's it. I don't wanna und understand what uh, I'm a star in the boxing. I don't wanna do this. I just wanna do, uh, like I said before. I just wanna show a very good example for kids who try to take their goal and it's hard to explain in English sorry do the best but, you can but mm, huh? uh, I can I can I uh, start in Russian yeah and yes of course okay. Я хочу оставаться парнем, который достиг своей цели и для показывать пример детям, что это можно делать, независимо в каком месте ты находишься, и при этом можно оставаться скромным порядочным человеком. Well, I think you're doing a great job to do that. Um, let me ask you this after boxing. Okay? Obviously not now, in long future. After boxing, what would you like to do? You know, now I'm thinking about fishing and hunting, but, <laughs> but, but, I don't know, maybe, maybe, you know, if you ask me about my future two years ago, I absolutely give you ans my answer, I never start training, but now I'm thinking maybe in the future I start training because, because I have a son, and maybe if he won't, захочет, want it? Yes, if he wants. If 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 he would like uh, start boxing his career, of course uh, I start help him. You will train him. Yep. 
And I also want to ask you, because the hunting and the fishing, do you eat the fish? Do you eat the duck, the pheasant? Yes. So what is uh, your favorite meal? What, if I say you have one meal, what, this is what you want. Not, of course, to make weight. This is just, you're not making weight, no fight. What do you want to eat? What's your favorite food? What do you love? Oh, my, my favorite food, I love Italian food, but it's, uh, it's pasta, but it's not hunting food. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, you're talking about, if you're talking about hunting food, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain in English. It's uh, its name is it? Shurpa. Shurpa. Nobody knows. It, no, <laughs> but <laughs> uh, it looks like it looks like meat. Uh huh. Uh, spaghetti. Yeah. Hot water, and uh, oh, vegetables. A lot of ve- lot of different vegetables. Okay. It's cooking. It looks like soup. Yeah. It looks like. Uh, it's like Ma- it looks like main, main yeah, main. Is this Ukra- is a Ukrainian dish? No, no, it's not Ukrainian. It's I think it's uh, I don't know. Uzbekska. Is it Uzbek Uzbek food? Yeah, I, I think it's yeah, I think it's from. Nobody knows. Nobody, Nobody knows. knows. If it's delicious, it's delicious. <laughs> We'll have to try but, it sometime. But but it's very tasty. I believe it is. Okay, I appreciate your time. We're going to let you go. But before, the fans have a couple of questions. Will you be okay to answer some fan questions? Absolutely. Okay, great. Let's get to these. Sergey Andrich asks you, growing up, did you, oh, did you have any jobs before you were an amateur boxer? Never. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had a job. Didn't you serve yeah, ice I cream? Sail, no, I sail. I sail ice cream. I said, huh? I was selling. Yeah, I was selling. I was selling ice cream, one, one, uh, one year, uh, and on a black sea. Yeah, and oh, I never said about this. Yeah, and <laughs> I, I was selling. I was selling newspaper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite? But, uh, but I was, I was uh, ten or twelve years old. Yeah. What's your favorite flavor ice cream? Whatever. Uh, just, just uh, I don't know how it's n- plum beer. I don't know how to explain. It's vanilla. 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 Yeah, it's vanilla. Okay. Uh, at Freddie Ryan nineteen asks you, who is the biggest biggest influence on your life, and also separately your career, your biggest influence. Box. Yeah, whatever you want to say in your life and also on your career separately. You know, when I was a kid, I I I really like very well uh, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones, and I always follow this guy. Then I was a kid. I always like their fight, and uh, I remember then I. Uh, a cry then uh, Roy Jones lose uh, uh, his fight for not fox to um, Tarver then he, he then he lose this fight with Tarver uh, I was crying Antonio Tarver yeah he's a good friend of mine nice guy Roy's here this weekend did you see him yet no yeah he's here I saw him last night um, incredible fighter incredible fighter okay Jonathan Weeder asks you. Who is your favorite British fighter, either in the past or the present? Mm, it's a it's a hard question. I'm never thinking about this. I'm never thinking about this. But I know you love to fight here in London. You know, yes. Now, if we, I I very uh, I very like Tyson Fury. I very like. He's very very talented boxer. He's he is talented athlete. Very like talented it. and also a big personality. Yeah. Very <laughs> Listen, Loma, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us. And uh, I wish you the best in the future. I cannot wait to see your fights. We watch all of them and uh, we're all big fans. So uh, anyway, out there to the fans, 
Please do not miss the fight this weekend. AJ versus Usyk, the Unified Heavyweight Championship of the World, Sky Sports Box Office, and DAZN. This is Matchroom Radio. Until next time, David Diamante signing out.